in the strangest way, uh, as a video producer on uh, on YouTube, I'm feeling like that beetle and that de demonetization bot's like the redback spider. That's the way it's feeling at the moment. Warning, this video contains graphic images of a deadly redback spider having a wonderful Christmas feast. If you have a fear of spiders and a love of Christmas beetles, this video is not for you. And let's not forget, this video is highly educational. The other thing I like to look at on the walk is uh, I know where the redbacks hang out and this is a classic example of what they get up to. In each uh, area of the stair there, when we go to the corner, uh, we can see their web workings. Hey, look at that there. That looks like a beetle that's just been caught up in a redback's web there. Now I'm wondering whether the spider's going to appear. Hmm, well that beetle would be sending out the right messages, that's for sure. The redback has appeared. Oh, this is great because it's not in the spider tank. Wow, look at that there. Very, very amazing. Wow, it's much more amazing to see it uh, like this versus the spider tank because uh, this is sort of for real. Look at her go, and she is a feisty female. She's large. Looks like she's got an egg sac developing in the backside there. And that beetle is going to be a goner. That is amazing. Oh, my biggest fear is the YouTube demonetization bot's not going to like this content. Uh, we've got to spin some education here, boys. Oh, there's a red back spider. It's got eight legs. It's got a red stripe on its back. And that beetle there comes out about Christmas time. Does that mean I've been educational? So just think, you would have been walking up these stairs here and you never knew that deadly spider was lurking in the corner there. Unless you got eagle eyes for them. I know she'll have a lot of work to pull that beetle down there. Very strong, extremely strong in the legs. Uh, but I've got total confidence in that red back spider. Maybe I'll get some slow motion footage of this going on. I've got the luxury of just being in a normal environment. say that beetle's history that female has worked intensely fast and hard there to uh, contain the strength of the beetle she's doing an excellent job of it it's a classic case of if, if you know where to look and you're lucky uh, you get some awesome stuff and it's just out of my morning walk who would have ever thought I could see something so epic and it's going on all the time I'm sure the spider has got in several bites because I've have watched this in the spider tank, uh, and that beetle there. I'm calling it a Christmas beetle because we're getting up near Christmas time. Uh, that will feed her and her friends for quite some time, and I say her friends because there's actually many uh, redback spiders in the steps here. Whether or not they work together, that is, uh, well, I've seen these spiders seemingly work together, and I've seen them work against each other. It's a bit of a spider mystery. It's actually really awesome uh, to see this without the glass between me and the camera like it was in the spider tank. Very, very awesome. I don't know whether to use the iPhone's light or not. I've got the light on at the moment. I'm not sure how much of a difference it really makes. Um, I think it changes the color temperature a bit, which annoys me. Um, yeah, but I've thought with the light on, sometimes these spiders are quite sensitive to light. 
because they're nocturnal. That's why you don't really see them out in the day. Uh, but she's just going on because, well, maybe she's hungry. And that's a Christmas feast if ever I've seen one. Massive one. So while she's busily working away there, if I traverse up a step or two, there's one step, two steps, there is the other place where there would be a redback spider. Now, the thing about this here is you can't naturally see the spider. I suppose I'll put a little critter in there, the spider's going to appear. But they are fairly elusive and difficult to see when they're hiding away in their homes. I'm back on the action here. I've just had a chat to some uh, German friends in the suburb. We have some great chats about the world, about how it's changing. About Europe versus Australia. Yeah, very interesting people. Germans very usually very clever. I like German stuff. I like it a lot. And I'd say what's happening here is, and I might get the light back on. Yeah, she's... Uh, She's recluse back, so what's going on without the light, because I haven't got it on, she's taken off, is the bug there, a Christmas beetle, would have been bitten many times, and it's just a case of the venom taking effect to quell the strength of that beetle. But sadly, boys and girls, the beetle is history. So Mrs. Redback Spider has recluse back to her lair there. Can you see her there? I can't see her. Oh, I've got to be educational, don't I? Or else I get the yellow dollar sign. Oh, the beetle is putting up a massive fight here. It actually just tried to fly away. It just got its wings out. I missed it on camera, sorry. It might try and do it again. Oh, it's trying all it can to get away. The redback may reappear. May reappear. Uh, but I think there would have been enough venom uh, put into that beetle there. It's just going to weaken over time. Oh, the redback is coming back. Yeah, so um, that's the way it plays out. The redback thinks... A little bit too much action is going on. There's going to be some more bites. That's the way it plays out, boys and girls. Well, that, uh, I have to say, that beetle is actually a fighter. It's uh, doing a lot of feisty wing action. And the redback's going around, and what it does, it would be repairing its web and stuff. Because, well, the web is really its secret weapon. Especially the very sticky web they've got. These spiders have got some incredibly sticky web that... Uh, is totally amazing. And there's some more education for you boys and girls because <laughs> I'll be fighting the yellow uh, demonetization bot for sure. I know there's going to be the argument, oh Leo, why don't you come in and save the Christmas beetle? Well, the spider needs to survive as well. You've always got to remember that. In nature, uh, it's not pretty. Uh, everything dies, especially to be food for somebody else. The other very curious thing about a redback spider's web is the way that it's deployed and what you'll find is there's actually pieces of web in fact if i put my finger there i can feel web there on the edge of frame there going right down to the ground i like to put them down to the ground because any critters that come along here uh, vibrate the web and the spider can come down and get it also up on the wall here so really this whole area here is uh her zone anything that comes into this zone is going to potentially be her next meal well, I'm noticing now, and it's been about oh, 10, 15 minutes I've been watching this. The beetle is uh, weakening. It's still trying to fly out of the web. And you know what we're going to say at the end of this video? Good night, sister. In a very Christmassy sort of way. I've actually just come back, uh, and this is about 20 minutes after I shot the initial video. The beetle's still struggling on, the redback spider has reappeared and is, uh, dare say, finishing up its business there and strengthening up its web. So maybe the people who are landing hate on me when I put the Christmas beetles into the spider tank and rethink their comments come back and say sorry. <laughs> oh no, that's never going to happen. Trolls don't work like that. Up the end here, I'm going to bolt on another redback spider that I found when I was doing my cicada video. This footage didn't suit the cicada video because I wanted to keep that all cicada, but I think it suits a redback spider video. So we'll take a look at this one. It's a strange redback spider because of its colour and because of what it caught. It might be a nice little test to see who's actually watched this video. This redback spider was in that zone where I found the much smaller redback spider which was eating the black Christmas beetle from a few videos back. 
It was a curious find because it wasn't jet black and it made me do a bit of reading up about what's going on there. I think they vary in colour as they are basically growing in size and shedding their skins. I think. Maybe I'll be corrected there. I also know that when these spiders are pregnant and they've got eggs developing in their back part, uh, they often lose that darkness of black that they'll have and the red stripe will also not be as red as it normally is. But this spider is a very tan coloured redback spider and it's something that I haven't really seen that often so to me it's a bit unusual. The things to me that said redback spider was the style of web that it had, the style of environment it liked to live in. And what are the caught? Well, I kept flip-flopping in my mind between are we dealing with a wasp here because it looked like it had a waspy sort of backside or are we dealing with some style of ant? Now, I don't know. I'm not an entomologist, as you all know. If I told you this was an ant, the audience are going to say, no, Leo, that's a wasp. If I told you it was a wasp, I know the audience will say, well, no, Leo, that's an ant. Don't you know? But I'm hoping the one thing that we're all going to agree on is whatever that is, it's a pretty awesome thing to capture and kill. And again, this shows you that the redbacks that go on to be full-blown mature adults are the ones that are the most honed killers. In redback spider society, the most evil spiders will rise to the top. Maybe it's the same in our human society as well. I'm sure you'll tell me.